How do dreamers, thought leaders, paradigm shifters change the world? They have to ask themselves this one question. Am I willing to chase my dreams? If you want to know how to push the boundaries of your influence, impact the world, and live out your God-given dreams, then this is the podcast for you. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to the Passion and Prestige podcast. I am your host, world changer, dream chaser, and all-around nice guy, Teron Nolan. I am so glad you are here today because today we have possibly the most important episode you will hear all year long. (laughs) I'm serious. Now, let me tell you why. Because today we're going to be talking about raising our sights and aiming for bigger and better things. In order for us to aim for new skies, we're going to have to get a little uncomfortable. So I hope you're ready because this is going to be one that's going to rock your world. Let's do it. They just want to knock you off the top, but I ain't going to drop till I say so. I don't know if you have heard the song New Skies from Bizzle. For those of you who don't know who Bizzle is, look, you need to go check him out after you listen to this podcast. And Bizzle, if you happen to be listening, hit me up. I would love to have a conversation with you. Bizzle has this song called New Skies, and this song is basically about Bizzle realizing that he has spent most of his life trying to reach the same status and be like some of the people that he idolized. He finally realized that he was aiming too low, that he was trying to be like these people when God had called him to be like someone completely different. God had called him to be himself. He needed to aim for new skies. Man, I love that. It got me thinking, what areas in our lives do we need to aim for new skies? Let's talk about it. What are those areas in your life where you know you need to aim for new skies? I mean, what are those areas where you know you need to shoot higher? Maybe you need to push a little harder. I've had to come to many realizations in my life that, you know what, I need to stop trying to be like other people. I need to stop trying to achieve what other people have achieved because they are not my sky. That's not what I'm aiming for. God has set me to aim for something different. But too many times, I'll admit it, I struggle with, you know, Just let me aim a little lower. I think one of the biggest reasons why I do this and probably you do it is because we don't want to face disappointment. Look, disappointment sucks. No one likes that feeling. You know, when you get your hopes up and when you're trying to achieve something great and it doesn't happen and you're like, man, why did I why did I aim for that? Why did I shoot so high? Why did I believe for that when I should have just lowered my standards. We do that all the time. The thing about it is you are not making the world better by lowering your standards, by aiming low. You don't help yourself and you don't help anyone around you. We are called to raise our standards, ladies and gentlemen. We are called to aim as high as we possibly can. And yes, that may mean that we experience some disappointment. I'm sorry. That's kind of part of it. But we got to do it. I don't want to spend my whole life aiming low. I don't want to spend my whole life trying to be like other people that I was never created to be like. I need to aim for new skies. I love that. Let me share a story. My father took me fishing when I was a boy. Now, as a child, I was afraid of everything, every single thing. So when we got to the fishing spot, naturally, I wanted to just stay in the safest place possible. I wanted to be right on the shore. 
I didn't need to go to any more dangerous spots. I wanted to be as safe as possible, which meant that I was right next to the shallowest water. I don't even know if that's a real word, but I'm going to say it. The shallowest water. Some of you can see where I'm going with this. I didn't want to budge from that spot, but I started to notice that all the other people who were fishing were catching huge fish, and I was catching nothing. I could see tiny fish from here, from there. Time to time, little guppies would swim around. But that was it. I wasn't seeing the big fish that these people were pulling out of the water. And I was like, what is going on? I started to get upset. Why am I not catching the fish that they're catching? This isn't right. Now, as a child, I handled it the only way that I knew how. I threw down my fishing pole and I sat down on the shore and I pouted and I said, I'm done with this. I stopped fishing. I sat right there on the safe shore and I watched as everyone else was enjoying themselves catching fish. My dad came over to me, looked me in the eyes and said something so simple, but so groundbreaking, so impactful that to this day it is burned in my brain. He said, if you want to catch the big fish, then you have to go out to the deep waters. <laughs> wow. My father was saying, you can't sit on the shore and expect to catch the big fish. You have to get up. You have to go out in the deep. He was saying, boy, you need to aim for new skies. Because sitting on the shore isn't going to cut it. Yeah, you're safe. If you really want to catch those big fish, you need to go out to the deep water. Aim for new skies. You see, my dad taught me a valuable lesson that day. Because I was aiming too low, I wasn't reaping the benefits. I wasn't receiving what I wanted. Our aim is too low. We know it. We know that there's so much more that we can do. We know that there's so much more that we want to do, but we're afraid. We're so, so, so afraid. This is why I feel like fear is such an important topic that we need to discuss because fear has a way of keeping us aiming low. That's it. It has a way of making sure that we never raise our eyes higher. It keeps our aim low. But we weren't created to aim low. We were created to aim high. I don't know if I'm babbling. I hope I'm not. I'm just trying to say you got to aim high. And most of the time, what that means is you're going to have to take your eyes off of who you think is your example. Who's your role models? Who are you trying and striving to be like? And I would say this, challenge yourself to aim even higher. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this episode the way I end every episode with these powerful, powerful words. Chase your dreams until the dreams you chase become reality. Go change the world and make sure you aim for new skies. So now that you're part of the Passion and Prestige tribe, I want to know what you think. I love hearing from my listeners. So if you wouldn't mind taking a screenshot of you listening to this podcast and tag us at Passion and Prestige on Instagram. And don't forget to go into your podcast app, subscribe, and leave us a five-star review and a five-star rating. This helps us reach way more people. Passion and Prestige Tribe, thank you so much. I will see you next week. And remember, chase your dreams until the dreams you chased become reality. Go change the world. They just want to knock you off the top. But I ain't going to drop till I say so. Till I say so. Because I say.